Hi guys, welcome to our Saturday Family Craft session. Today we are going to be learning how to make a pet pocket mouse. So this is a nice wee thing to carry around with you, especially if you get a wee bit anxious, you can use it as a wee sort of stress ball and um, fiddle toy and just live in your pocket. So let's get see what we need to get started. So some scraps of felt or um, any other kind of material you've got that's not too thick so you can have patterned material as well if you like a patterned mouse so these are obviously just things that i've used for previous crafts so some felt a pen some thread or and well ideally some embroidery thread and some thread but you can have one or the other if you've just got one a needle a little bit of wool I've got pink because I think it looks good for a wee mouse's tail. And um, f finally some stuffing or some scrap material. So I've just got a pair of old tights here, which I'm just gonna use to stuff my little mouse. And scissors. So let's get started. So I've got a nice wee pink mouse here, but I think I want to do a wee friend for him. So let's do a white mouse got this white felt. So first of all you're going to draw two almost like a pear shape but with a point. So I'll just show you. I'm just going to fold my felt over so that I can cut out two at the same time. So there we go it's like a pear or like an egg or an avocado, like an egg with a point. There you go, okay? So then you're just gonna cut round your shape and make sure you cut out two. pen a wee bit pen around the edges I'm just going to turn it inside out so you've got a nice clean outside and there we go so I'll just trim those last little end bits so they're a bit neater there we go so that is our mouse shape so I'll pop that way to the side for the minute Next, we are going to get our needle and we're going to put some eyes on one side of our mouse before we stuff it and sew it up. So I'm just going to get my pen and I'm just going to mark where I want the eyes to be just so that I get them in the exact right place I want them. So I'll just do this here and this here. So that's where I've got my wee eyes. We're going to get needle and you're going to thread it very carefully with some black embroidery thread or any colour you want your eyes. So I'm just going to cut some of this stuff up here. And I'm just going to thread the needle. And get a parent or adult to help you with this. That's why it's family craft session, so we just need to be super careful with our needles. And we're just going to take off the top one that we've marked and leave this one here. And we're just going to put the needle through one of the eyes and then back out the other side of the circle. So you can see like there, okay? Yep. And then you're going to pull your thread through until you've just got about a couple of centimetres left. And then we're going to tie it. So. Give it a wee knot so it's nice and secure and that creates the basis for our eye. So then we're just going to pop the needle back through and just do a few stitches over the top of your little knot. Okay? This gives us nice little 3D black eyes, like nice little shiny black eyes. You could also use googly eyes, 
or you could even just draw them on with pen, just whatever you've got. But um, I like doing it with the thread because it makes them nice and 3D. And googly eyes always fall off, don't they? So it's best to do it with thread. So there we go, we've got our nice little 3D eye, but we've got the end of the thread, so we just need to trim that off, okay? Then while your this thread is at the back, you can take it round to the next eye and through there, or what I'm going to do is cut it off. I'm just going to pop it through once more just to make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm just going to trim it off. And then I'm going to start again the same way with a little knot on this eye. Okay? There we go, through till you've got about two centimetres. Oh, <laughs> you can't see. Two centimetres there, okay? And then you're going to knot it across your little pen eye. And then we'll do the same again. So just a few stitches over your knot make a nice little 3D mouse eye. Okay. One more stitch. And then again, just make sure on the back, you make, thread it through and make it nice and secure. And then we can trim it off. And we can trim it off on the front as well. So just careful use this is when you're trimming off. And get your adult to help you if it's a wee bit fiddly. There we go. So now we have two nice little 3D mice eyes. Mouse eyes. So, next we need to sew our mouse together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colour. I'm going to use pink this time, I think, to go around the outside. But you can just keep on going with the same thread, whatever suits you. So we're just going to re-thread our needle. And we're going to lay our two little mice together, or two little mice shapes. And I'm going to start at the nose. So I'm just going to pop my needle through both layers, bring it through. And then again, once I've got about two centimetres on that side, I'm just going to tie it off. So. So it's we knot and then knot it again. So there we go. So now we're going to start sewing around the edge. So I'm going to put one stitch through here. And then before I pull the stitch through, see like here. Oh, do, 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 do. there we go. Right, so before I pull the stitch through, I'm going to put my needle through the loop of the stitch so that you end up with a nice looped stitch. Can you see that? So then you're going to end up with this effect all the way around. Okay? So let's just do that again. So you go on, you pop your needle through the two layers, okay? Pull it through. Then just before that loop closes off and gets too tight, you put your needle through the loop. Can you see there? 
and then you pull it tight. And there we go, okay? So we keep on doing that all the way around. Try and keep your stitches nice and regular if possible. that you end up with a nice pattern. So here we go. So we're starting to get all these little pink stitches. Can you see that? all the way along the side of my mouse. So we're going to keep on going. So remember putting it through the layers till the loop's about here and then putting your needle through the loop. too fast. I'm getting tangled. So if you get tangled don't worry you can always just pull it back out. Oh. Or you can take your needle off and pull your uh, thread and then pop your needle back on. So it will help you to take a shorter piece of thread than I've taken because that's how you end up getting really tangled. Now, at this point, you want to stick your little tail in. So we've got halfway round, okay? So this is where the mice, mouse's tail is gonna come in. So, get your piece of wool and decide how long you want your tail. So I'm gonna go for about as long as my finger, okay? So here we go. And just a wee bit extra to go inside the mouse. Here we go. And all we're gonna do is just pop the tail in here. And if you want, you can pop a wee bit of glue on it. And then I'm just going to stitch around the tail and through the piece of wool. So I'm just gonna bring my needle up through the two pieces and the piece of wool. go and just make sure you're holding the piece of wool secure with your thumb there we go so the wool should be in there now then we're going to keep on going round with our stitches Right, so now we're about three quarters of the way round. So this is when we need to add our stuffing. So for my stuffing, I uh, have just got some old tights and I'm just gonna chop them up 
into some shreds. The fact that you're chopping them up into shreds means that once they're inside your mouse, they're a bit easier to move around with your hands. So you can just use normal stuffing like getting a teddy bear, you can get that from craft shops, but we're all about reusing things that are just going to be going to waste. So that's why I'm using small tights. You could use old socks, anything you've got, bits of t-shirt, anything you've got lying around. It's a sort of soft fabric. So just cutting a few little bits. That might be just enough, but a few bits more. And don't chuck the rest of your tights or your socks or whatever away. Just put them in a wee box and keep them and I'm sure we'll have another craft to use them for. So there we go. So that's our stuffing for our mouse. So we're just going to carefully keep your needle over there and just stuff your stuffing through the wee hole that's still open in your mouse. And push it all the way into the back and keep filling them up as much as possible. I'm saying him, it could be a her. There we go. So a nice fat little mouse. There we go. So nice and stuffed. So then once you've got enough stuffing in and you're happy with the size of your mouse, you're just going to keep on sewing around the edge. So this can be a wee bit more fiddly once you've got your stuffing in. So just take your time, make sure you're very aware of where you're putting your needle. Because I don't want any um, pricked fingers, do we? So there we go. And remember when you're sewing to keep going back through your loop with your needle each time. So pull through and then through your loop and onto your next stitch. And that's how you get the little trim around the edges. So that's almost us there. Make sure your stitches are small enough that your stuffing isn't popping out between them, okay? Because we don't want that. We don't want the mouse stuffing popping out. So then I've just got round to my nose, so I'm just going to do another stitch through just to make sure it's secure and then I'm also just going to tie it off with what's left of the um, thread from starting out, just so we've got it nice and secure and it won't come apart at all, okay? I'm just going to tie that twice and then we can chop off all little ends. So, that's the body of our mouse. And we've got our little tail coming out the back. Look at that. Just like a little mouse. So, next, I think I want to add some whiskers to my mouse. Make it look a bit more micey. So, I'm going to get some black thread again. And with our needle, I'm just going to thread up our needle. There we go. And we just need a short amount for this because all we're going to do is choose where our little whisker is going to go. And we're just going to go through like this and pull our thread through, but remember to leave whatever length you want your whisker to be at the other end. So you can see that, okay? So then we're just gonna tie this off. I'm gonna trim it first. 
So you can see it through like that and I'm just going to give it a good little tie, okay? So tie it nice and tight and do the same again. And then you can trim to how long you want your whiskers. And then with embroidery thread, the best thing is that you've got loads of little threads. So if you just pull them apart, we can get some nice fluffy whiskers. Okay. So then you can keep on adding more and more and more. So there we go. Lots and lots of whiskers. Oh. And you need to play with them for a while to get them to all sit right. There we go. Can you see that there? Lots and lots of whiskers. So on this one, I've added another stitch through and added even more whiskers. But I think I'll just leave this one with a few. So then we're going to do the exact same on the other side. So just one stitch through and then pull it through how long you want them, trim it off and give them a wee tie. It's a wee bit fiddly so you can always get help. But it'll be easier with little fingers, easier than I make it. <laughs> there we go. And get them all tangled up. There we go. That's one tie. And then tie again. I think I've cut these a wee bit too short. So if you keep them long and trim them and then cut them short. Like I did the first ones. Okay. So then that's all our little whiskers. Okay. So you can see Mousy has some whiskers. Voila. So, it wouldn't be a mouse without ears, would it? So I'm going to get some little, you can see the little pink ears on this one. But because this is a white mouse, I think I'm going to get some white ears. But I'm also going to put the little circle of pink in them, I think. So I have some sticky back felt here. So I'm just going to cut two little ear shapes and then two slightly smaller little ear shapes, okay? So actually I'll cut these ones out first. Just remember to cut two of each because We need two ears, don't we? So those are my two little pink ears. And actually these are sticky back felt, so I'm just going to peel them and stick them onto my white felt. Now, you don't need to use sticky back felt. You can use any fabric and just use a bit of fabric glue or PVA or print stick and just stick them on. So. There's my two little pink inside ears. So then I'm just going to cut out around these, okay? So I'm just going to leave a little bit of white as I cut out around them. So that can be the outside of our ear. So there's one little mouse ear. Okay. Sorry, the colour's not great on my camera, so you can't really see how pink these are, but you get the idea. There we go. So we've got two little ears, which we're going to sew on, but we also need a nose. So for the nose, you can either do it exactly like you did the eyes and embroider it on or stitch it on to the end here. And you could use some pink thread for this. Or I am going to make a little pink nose. 
So I'm going to get some of this um, felt and this is sticky back stuff again but you can just use normal felt or fabric as I said and I'm just going to cut out a little round nose. So we'll stick this little nose on to our mouse. There we go, and we're just going to pop him right on there. Okay, there's our little nose. And now we just have to sew our ears on. So I'm going to get my needle, and this time I'm going to use some slightly finer, um, just normal thread. And I'm going to thread the needle. It's a bit easier threading it with this thread because it's nice and thin. Pull it through. So to start off with, we're just going to do a little stitch where we want the ear to be. It's just through like that. And again, you can just tie it off or you can do a couple of stitches through to secure it. Okay, and then we're going to get one of our ears and we're going to sew it on. Just go through your ear and then onto your mouse. There we go. So just do a few wee stitches in the bottom half of your ear. Come out. There we go. Just so nice and tight little stitches so that ears are nice and secure and then again you can just tie off your thread when that ear's done and then we're going to move on to the next one so just trim off your threads so that's our little ear okay um, and then we're going to do our next one so just get same thread in your needle, put some more thread on if you need it, do a little stitch through and secure it, and then, oh, keep losing my thread, get your ear and do a few wee stitches to secure it on to the mouse. There we go, and then just tie off your thread again. And there we go. So, on my other mouse, I did little stitches in the ears to make them a wee bit more 3D before attaching. So you can see that. So you just do a little stitch to pull it together in the ear before you pop it on. But on this one, it's nice because they sit up quite alert. So it looks like a cheeky little mouse, doesn't it? So here we go. That's your little mouse buddy's made. And you can make as many as you like. 
make a whole family of mice in all different sizes and you can do them much bigger as well. Or you could try making things like hamsters or birds. So, and they're really sort of nice wee thing to have. If you get, if you're like me and you get a wee bit anxious sometimes when you're out and about, it's nice to have, just have a wee, wee pocket friend to keep you company. So um, we will be back next week for our next family craft session on Saturday. And um, we'll have new craft packs um, with all the materials you'll need for our Saturday sessions ready to pick up next Friday from the shop. So that's Friday the 5th of March. Um, and you can come and get your craft pack between 12 and 3. And that will include all the materials you need for all the weeks running up to Easter. So hope you can join us again next time. And see you later. Bye.